If you want to stay fit and even get stronger into your 30s and 40s, then you really have to do the opposite of what most people are doing. Your time starts to be more valuable. A high stress job, kids, more responsibilities, all lead to less personal time. If you couple this with your body naturally slowing down its processes a bit, we can only come to one conclusion. I admit, back in the day, I wrote some embarrassingly complicated programs for myself. What I've learned from training for 20 years is it's way simpler than I thought. I just had twins. I don't have a spare minute. These are the methods that I use to keep making gains with minimal time. Number one is focusing on push-pull squat. These come in many different shapes and sizes, but here are the three that we think are the best bang for your buck. Pull-ups or chin-ups. Arguably the upper body exercise that changes your body the most. Developing the back is uncharted territory for most people, and with some added resistance, the arms grow as well. The V taper starts to take place and grip strength goes through the roof. Focus on full range of motion, controlled tempo, and progressing slowly. Overhand grip pull-ups are great to build the back, but are overlooked for their profound postural benefits in strengthening dormant shoulder blade and upper back muscles. Focus on quality over quantity with full range of motion at the bottom and top. Most people are stronger with an underhand grip, the chin-up. This will involve more bicep, and for this reason, adding some weight can really make your lats and arms develop. Chin-ups may give you more size, but pull-ups build a balanced physique. Combining both is wise. Bodyweight squats are great, but it can be hard to get a potent stimulus without adding weight. A barbell squat is effective, potent, and time efficient. You can do three sets of five a week and see great progress, but the risk of injury can be higher, especially if you have any mobility restrictions and it requires more equipment or a gym. Most people can get great results with the use of a kettlebell at home. A simple goblet squat can allow you to work on your positioning, mechanics, and of course, pumping the legs. We can also move to a single leg option to add intensity like the Bulgarian split squat or a deeper range of motion like the ATG split squat popularized by Ben Patrick. Great for developing mobility. What's important when it comes to squats is to pick one variation, do it for multiple months and watch the strength gains come. We balance out our pulling with a solid push movement to develop the shoulders and chest. Here we have some options. If you like the idea of body weight training, the weighted push-up is simple and effective. Elevate the hands for deeper range of motion. Here you can work close to failure with a very low risk of injury. If you're in the gym, its counterpart, barbell or dumbbell press can be a solid and accessible option. But maybe a better option for most is to press overhead. If we have the necessary mobility, this keeps the shoulders happy and maintains a very functional strength in our body, often lost to years of no use. You can do this with barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, or even body weight with a pike push-up. Switching between a horizontal and vertical press will keep you well-rounded, and getting stronger in one should support strength in the other. Number two is using progressive overload. No matter if you're training with barbells, kettlebells, or body weight, progressive overload is the key to making gains. This basically means you do a little bit more each session. So adding one rep, one extra set, a little bit of weight, a little less time in between your sets, this is the way that your body gains strength. And the stronger you become, the more reason your body has to put on muscle mass. Our recommendations are this. Day one, focus on strength hit the three to five rep range. Day two, focus on hypertrophy in the eight to 10 rep range. Use added resistance so you can train at an intensity that's one to two reps away from failure. Push to failure every once in a while and focus on gradually becoming stronger. Mix up the variations here and there, but make sure to do one thing long enough to make progress. Number three is using supersets. Supersets may be the most time efficient way of working your body. Coupling two exercises together that work different muscle groups allow you to tax many different muscles in your body in a low amount of time. A classic example is combining push-ups and pull-ups. You do your sets of push-ups, rest for a minute or so, then do your sets of pull-ups. Now we rest for two to five minutes and repeat. 
When you're done, you just worked your full upper body in a short amount of time. It's so simple, yet often overlooked as a training technique. You can superset any two movements, but to be most efficient, pick exercises that are using different muscle groups. If one exercise is really intense, such as a heavy back squat, choose another exercise that's less intense, like a regular push-up. The name of the game is to stay away from doing too much. You're in your 30s, 40s, 50s. You're done with the aspirations of wanting to be an elite athlete or a bodybuilder. Most likely, you just wanna feel strong and look decent when you take your shirt off. If that's you, then make use of this minimal approach. Use supersets. Supersets allow you to get a super potent workout in, in 30 to 40 minutes. Push, pull, squat. Those should be your primary focus. Throw in a hinge movement, or some other exercises to work on bringing up weak points. And always pay attention to progressive overload. Are you adding some reps or some weight over time, over the course of weeks and months? Pro tip is to gradually build a home setup so you can have less barriers to train. Whenever you have a free moment or some motivation, you can get it done. Have you ever tried a minimalist approach to your strength training? Let us know in the comments below, as always. P.S. You guys saw my twin boys make their first feature in a strength side video. I mentioned it on the channel a few months back and a lot of you guys gave me congrats and some words of encouragement. I wanna say thank you so much for that. They're just getting to six months old. They're healthy, strong, getting bigger. It's so fun to watch and it's made my life really cool and it hasn't taken away much either, which is awesome. I wanna say big ups to all the parents out there. Man, it's a crazy job. And I think in the future, I will make some content about staying fit and healthy as a parent because man, it's easy to slide as always.